Hey guys, Gaston with Rough Country. Today we're at Hot Springs Off-Road Park in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's about a four hour drive from our headquarters in Tennessee and we decided to drive up here today and do a little wheeling and bring you with us. No, he's not a rough country guy anymore. He's just the face. Oh, no. Oh, you know, he, can, no, he doesn't help with anything. He just looks pretty. No. Old things. Get this. <laughs> It's always great catching up with old friends you haven't seen in a while. If they weren't giving me a hard time, I'd think they didn't like me. Here BJ and his dad, they're uh, dealers of ours at Tipton County Four Wheel Drive. Great guys, do anything to help you out. Now it's time for me to air down the tires on the JL and we're gonna hit the first trail. So Mid-South Jeeps always does a fall run toward the end of October. It's always a really big deal, a great event, a lot of wheeling, uh, a lot of uh, family friendly events and, and just overall a great time. We jumped in with a group of uh, fairly new Jeepers, uh, so this trail is not overly complicated. There may be a couple of spots that are gonna be a little difficult for the lesser modified Jeeps, but overall, this is gonna be no problem for the Rough Country Outfitted JL. So anybody that's ever filmed off-road is going to tell you that the camera never truly shows the angle of the obstacle. Now here you can see how well the Vertex shocks handle these obstacles. It was uh, really, really smooth in the cab. Uh, I actually didn't even realize it was this uh, difficult of a traverse. So here's our first descent. I've got these uh, Rough Country Overland tires down to about 15 PSI, and they are really impressing me. They gripped the whole trip and went through mud unbelievably. All right, here's our first opportunity to go ahead and let the JL stretch its legs a little bit. You'll notice how well it's articulating, keeping those Overland tires planted on the trail. No slipping right up this obstacle with no issue whatsoever. Right, so we're on the trail with Mid-South Jeeps, having a great time, hitting some intermediate trails, some twos and threes, getting warmed up and having some new drivers get their trail legs, if you will. We got radioed that someone had broken down on another trail. And now half this group is going to get parts and to go fix that Jeep. That's what the Jeep and community is all about. Every car community has great members, but I've never ever experienced anything like the Jeep community. They're always willing to help, even if it's not on the trail, even if you're doing something at your house. But right now, we're splitting the group. A couple of guys are going to a parts store to pick up a hub for a JK that broke a hub on a trail. They're gonna get him going and get him off that trail. With the group thinned out and split, we're going to cut across the park to some of the overlooks they have, just unbelievable views, and just enjoy wheeling in the natural state together. This park has a little bit for everybody. There are fire roads if you just want to get out and see nature. There are intermediate trails and then there are extremely difficult guaranteed to probably get some body damage trails. But overall what it has the most of is camaraderie. I mean, you didn't meet anybody on the trail that wasn't happy to see you for the most part, even uh, if they had broken down. Uh, they were still out there having a great time. Overlooks, the new owners have cleared those out and you can see for miles and it is gorgeous. Here, uh, BJ's dad is actually uh, winching a guy that was on the trail overnight, LS swap YJ that knocked a hole in his oil pan. 
luckily shut it down without doing any engine damage. But, I mean, he didn't know this guy. He was just a fellow Jeeper in need. So here he is pulling him out. And the guy got back to camp and probably still had one of the best weekends of his life. With the sun starting to dip in the sky, it was time to make our way back to the campground and the pavilion for the night's festivities. Uh, sometimes you have to scoot over and let people by. These are not two-lane roads by any stretch of the imagination, and that's why we like them so much. It was good seeing old friends and, and making new ones for sure. Oh, and what's that I see? A Tacoma. And not truggy out either. It was actually uh, somebody's daily driver. All right, we're making our way back down to the campground. You know, sometimes uh, descending is uh, just as uh, difficult as, as climbing. It's not always about climbing up. Get a little mud on the tires. Back to the campground, looks like everybody's congregating in there, and for good reason. Some handsome fella airing his tires back up with a Rough Country air compressor. And speaking of that, the Rough Country products we brought with us made the day that much more enjoyable. The tire deflator, the air compressor, the refrigerator, the fire pit, the suspension on the jail, everything that we brought made for a wonderful day. Today was too, too much fun. After an awesome day of wheeling, now we're here at the pavilion. They're providing dinner for members and they're gonna have a raffle and giving away a lot of rough country parts. If you're not in a Jeep club already, why not? Join it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna find out what you actually do with the Jeep once you lift it. As you saw today, we had a great time. We're so lucky to be within less than a half day's drive to this off-road park and we're actually close to several. Where would you like to see us go next? Windrock, Stony Lonesome, Hog Pride? Leave a comment and let us know. Until then, I'm Gaston with Rough Country and we'll see you on the trail.